right, so now we're going to create uh, an application with Expo. Of course, we are not going to use Expo on this course, but I'm going to just show you, you know, show you how to do uh, pretty much everything with Expo right here, uh, how to load an application and how to get it on the simulation. Uh, everything else, we're going to learn React Native, not using Expo, just using native dependencies. I'm going to tell you why later, but right now we're going to we're going to focus on creating an application just with the Expo. So uh, I'm already inside the directory where I'm uh, going to put all the files and it's called expo underscore test. And you can use, uh, you can put whatever you want for the name. Now I'm going to use the terminal. I'm going to go here and uh, let me just make it a little bit bigger. So uh, to start an expo application, of course, we've already need to, uh, to install. We have already installed the tools for expo, the CLI. We need to do expo init. And then, you know, you just need to put the, the name of your project. Now, the thing is that I'm already inside this directory on this command. And if I install it right here, it's going to bring a directory. Now, uh, after before, we could do a dot and it will just bring the files, but it's not really working lately. So I'm going to do CD. And if I do LS, I'm inside, the, you know, the parent directory of this uh, directory, the expo test. Now, what I'm going to do, and now I'm going to do expo, then init, just like this. And I'm going to call the uh, the project the same name I'm using right here, expo underscore test. Now I'm going to press enter and it's going to ask me, you know, what do you want to create? You know, choose a template. So you have several choices right here. And the uh, expo keeps changing the whole time. And that's one of the reasons why we are not using expo. And just, you know, for example, a couple of days ago, uh, this interface was a little bit different. You know, I reinstalled the tools today and now it's giving me different options. And if I try to find the documentation about this, you know, which is self-explanatory, but it doesn't matter. If I fi try to find the documentation, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to find anything. I'm just not finding anything. And of course, this is uh, pretty much uh, self-explanatory. You get a blank with a managed workflow. Uh, with the tabs, they're going to give you some tabs at the bottom and then, you know, just bare minimum, pretty much blank, but I'm going to use the blank. I'm going to press enter and then it's going to give you, it's going to ask you, you know, what, what's the name of your application? Well, in this case, I'm just going to use the same name of my, uh, you know, application expo test. And this is the name that's going to show on your screen when the, when the application boots. So in my case, I'm just using the same name for my project the expo test. I'm going to press enter. And uh, it's going to start doing things. So notice it uh, already entered to this directory and started downloading uh, all the dependencies. So it's going to take a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so everything got installed. And then it says to get started, you can type CD Expo and then NPM and start. So the thing is that the uh, this installer thinks that I'm running this from the terminal. Right, so I'm on the parent directory, and then I install everything into the uh, uh, you know the child directory. The thing is that I'm not doing this, and I'm using VS Code, so we can all use the same terminals. If you're a Windows user, you get the same terminal, and if you're a Mac user, uh, you use the same terminal. In real life, if I'm on a Mac, I use the uh, the integrated terminal. Uh, if you're on, if I'm on Windows, I'm working on Windows because I you know of course I work on both uh, computers. Um, I'm, I use the t this terminal because the CMD of Windows really sucks. In this case, uh, since uh, we, can, we can cover both scenarios with this one, uh, using this one. So I'm already inside the directory. In this case, I'm going to do a less. I'm on the parent directory, actually. So I'm going to do CD expo underscore test. And then I'm going to do a less and we get, you know, all the files. So I'm going to do clear and I'm going to do NPM start. You should do the same thing right enter to your directory if you're not already inside and then do npm start now this is going to do a lot of things it's going to start a development server uh with expo and it's, it will attempt to get a simulation of your computer and this is what you're going to get right this is what you're going to get so you could do two things you can run uh, the application on a simulator in your computer in this computer or you can run it from your phone now, if you go to Google Play, let me just try to find it right here. Google Play. And uh, let me just show this to you. One second. Was not going to do this, but, you know, why not? So if we, we search for, for Expo, we're going to get this, this uh, application, this Expo project. 
So this will not run in your computer. This is an application for your phone. So after you, you will need to install it if, only if you wish. Uh, if you install it, you will need to, of course, log in, register and everything else. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to open it in my phone. I'm not going to be able to show you from my phone, but I just can tell you what can happen. After you install this application in your phone and you open the application, uh, first you will need to log in or I believe you could run it without logging in. But the first screen, you're going to get something that says scan QR code. Now, if you uh, tap on that scan QR code, of course, you will need to pause the video, download the app and everything else. If you tap on that one and you go back to your project, I'm just doing it right now, and you scan your application, uh, it's going to load the application you have right here. It's going to transfer all the files, do the conversion, and show a version of this application in your phone. And, you know, that's, that's really cool. You can run the application you're building uh, with hot reloading and everything else from your phone. Now, remember that this is not running natively in your phone. It's doing a simulation with the Expo application. So what's really running, it's the Expo application. Now, when you run this, it's going to open and let me just make this a little bit less bigger. There we go. And I'm going to bring the Chrome. I'm going to bring this. So when you run your Expo, it's going to give you kind of a, a development control panel, right? And this is my phone. I have a cheap phone. I don't really like expensive phones. I live in a dangerous country, so if you have a, if you have an expensive phone, uh, you know you, you're in, in trouble. So okay, now of course I cannot show you on the screen what's uh, gonna, what's happening right now. If you're running it on your phone, you're gonna see something like open up AppJS to start working on your app, and this is what you get when you go to here. So if we go to our application, you know the main file where we where everything starts, which is the app.js. This is what you get in your screen. So of course, if I just maybe change something right here, something else, and I uh, click save, I go to, of course, I save the file, the application will reload in your phone and it will show you what you have on the screen, right? It's going to show you something else. Now, of course, I, I'm going to I'm gonna run it with a, the uh, iOS simulator. And of course, you can do this. You can, if you are in Windows and you install pretty much everything, you can, you can do you can run it on an Android device emulator, but don't worry, we're gonna do it on the next section, or you can run it on iOS. I've have I, I got everything installed in my computer to run this. Uh, I'm gonna do it so you can we can get, get the same thing on the screen. You don't need to do this. We're gonna do it in the next uh, couple of sections, right? We're gonna run our application without uh, Expo on the real uh, device emulator. Now, if you're uh, if you do it from here, of course, if you uh, run the uh, simulator or the Android, uh, you're going to get the application. But again, this is not a native application. This is an Expo application. It's the Expo container, right? That's the, the what, what's really happening. So let's give it a minute. Now, maybe in your computer, you're going to see that uh, your application, it's building really slow. And that depends on the computer. This is a this is a really fast computer. The Mac I'm using right now it's really really fast, so uh, you know the, it takes under a minute to bundle everything. If you have an old computer, uh, I have an old computer just with a standard uh, you know HD drive. It takes like six or seven minutes. That's you know standard, and this is because this computer has SSD, uh, 16 gigabytes of memory, and you know and all of that. So that's why it's taking under a minute. Maybe if you have a slow computer. If it takes five or six minutes, that's normal. To, you know, go go and get a coffee. So notice that when the application boots and everything is ready, I'm getting the something else, which is what uh, we got in our you know our application. And of course, if you change it to something else and you save it, the application will reload and reflect the changes. So uh, of course, it's uh, working with Expo. It's really really simple, right? And it's kind of fast. The problem is that, again, we are running uh, an application with a container on, a, on top of a container on top of a container. So, you know, again, you're not really uh, running a real uh, application. It's working on top of a frame a container. Now, what we're going to do on this course, we're going to create the applications, uh, the uh, native application, and we're going to use a native environment. Of course, we are use, still using React, which is, you know, a frame. 
But uh, then we're gonna run the simulation on a real uh, device, like here in a real simulation with not with Expo, and then a real simulation with the Android. And this, these are the two ways you get uh, in building an application. You know, with a standard configuration, you know, with uh, just the real device, the real uh, no Expo, and then you, of course, you get it with Expo. Now there are some things. There are some things you cannot do with Expo, like you know, manage native dependencies or something like that. Uh, Expo, uh, it's working on that right now, so you can run a version of your native, most native raw code, and run it on Expo. But it's not there yet. It's experimental. Not not that there. Not, we are not there with Expo. Uh, but of course, we're gonna we're gonna not use Expo. We're gonna use the just the native way of do things. Because if you learn the native way of do things, the raw way, you can still use Expo, right? Okay, that, that's good. Uh, on the next section, we're gonna run, we're gonna create an application not with uh, Expo. And uh, we're gonna run it, of course, uh, on the simulator. All right, let's go to the next one and do that.